Breaking news this morning. One person is dead after officials found a car upside down in, Mino in uh, the Ahara River. Plus, the latest in campaign visits and while they'll continue to ramp up ahead of the election. And early voting starts tomorrow. What you need to know before heading to the polls. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to News 3. Now this morning on this Monday, I'm Kyrie Ann Lee. And I'm Chris Stanford. We want to get to some breaking news right away. Monona police say one person is dead after a car crashed into the Ahara River overnight. Uh, the detectives uh, we spoke with at the scene say that speed may have been a factor in the crash. That's right. You're taking a look now at video from overnight of crews trying to pull that driver out of the vehicle. A Monona officer says they saw the car just after 1 a.m. Detectives on the scene confirmed the identity of that person will be released later today. And of course, we'll share with you here on the air and on channel 3000.com. Right, let's get to Savannah Brito now to look at your first one forecast. Hi, Savannah. Hey, guys. Good morning. Temperatures not off to a bad start at all. Our lowest temperatures basically just to our west in comparison to Maston, Lone Rock, Boscobel. Those areas are actually down to the upper 40s, but keep in mind that even is mild for this time of year. I do think temperatures are going to fall a little bit more. Might find ourselves as low here in Madison and across Dane County as the mid 50s, maybe a few lower 50s, but then we'll warm pretty quickly. We're looking at similar conditions to yesterday. Temperatures rise all the way close to 80 degrees. Yesterday, there are some areas that topped out in the lower 80s. I do think we'll see that again today. Near record warmth that continues into today. We got very close to that within three degrees of breaking that yesterday. Few isolated showers are possible, not today, but tomorrow. I think that mainly is going to be confined south of Madison down towards the Illinois Wisconsin border. Our best chance that returns late Saturday into Sunday. I do think that'll be our best chance out of the next about 10 days. So maybe getting some much needed rain by this upcoming weekend. Temperatures beyond that warming again will show an outlook leading into that Halloween forecast next Next week coming up. All right, Savannah, thank you. To our three for the people coverage now, Vice President Kamala Harris and former Congressman Liz Cheney, our Congresswoman Liz Cheney, will be in Wisconsin today. That's right, they will campaign in Waukesha. An exact location has not been released. The two previously campaigned together in Ripon. Harris recently visited Milwaukee, La Crosse, and Green Bay last Thursday. Also this week, a visit from former President Barack Obama and vice presidential candidate Tim Walls. The pair will campaign tomorrow in Madison. A time and location for the rally has not yet been set, though. Meanwhile, vice presidential nominee J.D. Vance visited the Badger State. He spoke in Waukesha at Stein's Aero, an aircraft services company over the weekend. He focused on issues affecting Catholic voters. But there are a lot of Catholics as a group. There are a lot of Catholics who I think rightfully feel abandoned by Joe Biden and Kamala Harris's leadership. And they're just looking for somebody to protect their rights and make this country an affordable and decent place to raise a family. And that's all, I think that's true of a lot of Catholics. It's true of non-Catholics too, but we cannot have an American government that is persecuting Christians for living their faith. We should be rewarding people and encouraging people to live their faith. We believe. Before the rally, Vance made an unannounced stop at a sports bar in Green Bay. He served beers to fans before the Packers game. On this week's For the Record, Will Keneally sat down with UW Lacrosse political science professor Anthony Tregoski to discuss why visits uh, like this in the state are getting increasingly more important. The tipping point state is the state that gives the winner of the election the decisive electoral vote. So if you win the tipping point state, you win the presidency. And in the last two elections, 2016 and 2020, Wisconsin was the tipping point state. Statistically, it made Joe Biden the president. It made Trump the president 2020, 2016. So right now, the polls indicate that Pennsylvania or Wisconsin are on track to be that tipping point state. So it means that we're seeing a ton of campaign activity in both of those states. For the next two weeks plus, it is likely that these visits will continue to ramp up here in Wisconsin. Early voting in Wisconsin begins tomorrow. The Dane County Clerk says voting early is the best way to vote. He says that's because on November 5th you could be sick or it could be a possibility of snowing, he says. A lot like it did during April's presidential primary. From October 22nd to November 3rd, you can vote at any of the early voting locations in your city. If you're already registered to vote, all you'll need is a form of identification. If you're not, you can register day of with an ID and proof of residence. And polling hours may vary.
Madison has a lot of hours, a lot of locations. Um, you know, other places that have uh, more limited hours. So check the website of your community. Check the before you head over there. For a list of polling locations and hours, you can head to our website. That's channel3000.com. The U.S. is investigating a recent leak of highly classified documents. They contain what appears to be the U.S. intelligence on Israeli plans to strike Iran. The documents began circulating on social media on Friday. It's unclear how they got there. The documents appear to be intended only for certain officials in the U.S., Australia, Canada, New Zealand, and the U.K. Some analysts say this leak could make Israel hesitant about sharing future intelligence and could harm American interests in the Middle East. We have troops in the region. We need to have prior notice in terms of what the Israelis are planning so we can protect our troops uh, in the response as well. Fighting in the region continues to intensify. A new round of attacks by Israel against Hezbollah in Lebanon with Israel issuing evacuation orders for attacks overnight. Let's check in now with meteorologist Savannah Brito. What's coming up? Guys, we're tracking very mild conditions for this time of year. We'll talk about when fall-like weather is going to settle in again. And it's spooky season in the 608. We're going to take you to Screaming Acres and Stoughton ahead of our team going through the haunted house ourselves. You're watching News 3 Now This Morning, brought to you by Toyota. Dear road rivals, no truck on the road drives value like the Tundra. Day after day, mile after mile, it all adds up to big savings under the hood. What's under yours? Toyota Tundra. Right now, lease a new Tundra for $4.79 a month or get 3.99% APR for 72 months on a new Tundra. Find yours at Toyota.com. Toyota. Let's go places. Eric Hovde has a problem. A problem with the truth. Time and again, his ads have been called false. He's a desperate candidate willing to say anything. But here's what's true. Eric Hovde has a plan to slash Social Security 28%, Medicare 25%, veterans' benefits 40%, all to spend $4 trillion on tax breaks for rich guys like himself. Eric Hovde's lying, and he's not for us. I'm Tammy Baldwin, and I approve this message. With Sweeto Metal Roofing, you get quality metal roofs installed by the best in the business. A metal roof means no fading, no storm repairs, true sustainability, and lower energy bills. Sweet of metal roofing, the last roof you'll ever need. I'm working harder than ever just to pay the bills and provide for my family. But here's what Kamala Harris thought my money should go to instead. Job training for illegal immigrants even after they commit crimes in America. Hotel rooms for illegal immigrants while our vets sleep on the street. Sex changes for illegal immigrants out of my pocket. Seriously, have these people lost their mind? Kamala Harris can never, ever be our president. Preserve America PAC is responsible for the content of this advertising. Under Kamala, there's been a big hike in Medicare premiums. Social Security benefits don't go far with Kamala's inflation slamming seniors. Now Kamala wants struggling seniors to pay more Social Security taxes, while she gives Medicare and Social Security to illegals. That will do Medicare. President Trump will make sure no one cuts Medicare or Social Security. Trump lowered Medicare premiums, and he'll end the tax on Social Security. I'm Donald J. Trump, and I approve this message. My love. Sometimes it takes a different approach to see the possibilities all around you. How are the girls? They're amazing, Dad. <laughs> As a Capella University nurse practitioner student, you'll learn the advanced skills you need to face the nursing challenges of today and tomorrow. A different future is closer than you think with Capella University. I can honestly say that Cardinal has never let me down. I definitely recommend Cardinal Heat and Air Conditioning because of the professionalism. Cardinal will always be my first call for anything that Cardinal does. I think we're going to continue to use Cardinal for a long time. You have a clear choice in this election. Senator Baldwin is a 38-year career politician. I'm a businessman and job creator. She supports taxpayer benefits for illegal immigrants. I'll close the border. 
Tammy wants to put guys and girls sports and in their bathrooms. I'll protect our daughters. Senator Baldwin abuses the political system. I'll fight the corruption. I'm Eric Covey and I prove this message. I'd be honored to have your vote. You're watching News 3 Now this morning, moving forward. Welcome back. Halloween is right around the corner, and when it comes to certain costumes for little kids, those bulky or puffy costumes might pose a serious safety hazard. Consumer Reports explains. Puffy Halloween costumes and outfits look super cute on our kiddos, but when it comes to driving around to deliver tricks and gather treats, all that excess material can interfere with the child's seat's ability to keep them safe in a collision. If your child's costume creates too much extra slack in their harness or it interferes with your ability to properly buckle them in, chest lift and crotch buckle, then we really advise you to wait until you get to your final destination to put them into their costume. And Halloween is one of the deadliest days of the year for pedestrians, especially children. The risk of a pedestrian fatality is 43% higher on Halloween. Halloween night is a perfect storm of risk. It involves darkness, heavy pedestrian traffic, especially that of children, and lots of additional distractions. Avoid masks that block vision. Decorative contact lenses like vampire or cat eyes can make a costume pop, but they can be risky, causing serious eye damage if not used correctly. The FDA advises to never buy contact lenses from a street vendor, beauty supply store, flea market, novelty store, or Halloween store. You should always have a prescription. And hand-me-down costume is a great money saver, but if it's too big, your child could trip, so adjust it for a proper fit. Use reflective tape. Add it to costumes and bags, or give kids glow sticks so they can be seen more easily on dark and spooky Halloween nights. Stay on sidewalks instead of walking between cars or lawns where tripping hazards could occur. This is Michelle Renee Quinn. And for all the drivers out on Halloween, try to park in a spot where you won't need to back up. Have an adult outside to make sure no kids are around if you do. More than 500 varieties of frozen waffles have been recalled because they may be contaminated with listeria. Listen up, there's some popular brands here affected. They're manufactured under Treehouse Goods and include Target's Good & Gather brand and Walmart's Great Value brand. No confirmed reports of illnesses have been identified yet, but consumers are urged to throw out the recalled products or return them to the store for a full refund. Take a look at this. The Girl Scouts have raised membership fees from $25 a year to $65 a year. Next year, it will remain. It will increase to $45 in 2026. In 2027, it will hit $65. This is less than the initial proposal, which would raise fees to $85 a year. Okay. 612, let's check in with Savannah Rito now on your first one forecast. Hey there. Hey, good morning. Temperatures, they're now falling a little bit. We're still at 57, which is very mild, though, for this time of year. Waking up to mostly cloudy skies or mostly clear skies. I do think skies are going to become mostly cloudy, especially as we head into later tonight. But temperatures, they're going to warm very similar to yesterday. A couple areas, even across southern Wisconsin, topped out in those lower 80s. We'll see that again this afternoon. Most of us, the upper 70s, but a few spots will make it to the 80s. Our southwesterly winds, that's one of the reasons behind the above average temperatures and also because we'll see sunny skies. I do think some clouds start to increase as we head for lunchtime and then especially overnight, like I was mentioning, we turn over to mostly cloudy skies. Temperatures are actually going to stay in the lower 50s overnight, cloud cover being one of the reasons behind that though. So very mild night is expected, especially compared to what we had just a week ago when temperatures did fall into the 30s. Tomorrow afternoon, a little cooler. We could see a couple of spotty showers. I think the better chance is going to be south of Madison and more specifically, even probably south down towards that Illinois Wisconsin border and then across northern Illinois. But temperatures probably going to be about 10 degrees cooler than what we'll see later this afternoon. Then our winds eventually transition back out of a northwesterly pattern. That's going to be the reason or one of them 
why we're going to cool down. So by mid to late week, that's when temperatures fall a lot compared to what we'll see later this afternoon. Winds are still going to gust up to about 15 miles per hour today, tomorrow, and then even into Wednesday morning. So over the next 48 hours, we're still tracking fairly breezy conditions. Warm today and tomorrow, and then you see that cool down. We're down to 60 Wednesday, 64 Friday, thinking this weekend will actually potentially bring us our next best chance of maybe even widespread rain, at least as long as the track remains similar or the same Saturday into Sunday, and then we warm right back up, could be tracking the 70s, leading us right into Halloween. All right, Savannah, thank you. Time to see what's going on in the 608 today. This morning, Josh Ryder is taking us to Screaming Acres in Stoughton. Good morning. Good morning, guys. So Screaming Acres was started by then 14-year-old Jacob Eichster on his family farm as a way of making a little extra money for college. Now it has grown to four haunted, haunted attractions and over 30,000 square feet of nightmare-inducing thrills. We had a chance to check out what's happening this year. It is season 13 here at Screaming Acres, and we've got a treat for you this morning. We are checking out one of the haunted houses. Kyle Kazabowski is joining us. Kyle, good morning to you. Morning, Josh. So where are we right now? Uh, so we're upstairs in the last resort. Um, this is the oldest and longest attraction that Screaming Acres has had. Um, it's also the, the biggest one. Uh, it takes the most time to get through and just recently went under uh, big renovations for this season. So season 13, you guys have come a long way since that very beginning. Yeah, yeah, season 13 um, has grown exponentially. Um, we've got a crazy amount of actors. Um, we have 80 returning actors this season, a uh, bunch of new actors. I think we're over 100 actors almost every single night um, that we're open. So actor-wise, set-wise, attraction-wise, it just keeps getting bigger and better. So it's been a big year so far. You're in the middle of your season, but still plenty of time to be able to come out and check it out for folks themselves. Fridays and Saturdays, we're open from 7 to 11 each night. Um, people can get their tickets online ahead of time. Saves us a lot of headache, um, saves them a lot of headache. Tickets do sell out, um, so we recommend getting them fast as possible because um, they will sell out. So of course my final question, you know, this takes a village for you guys to be able to put this on every year. What is it like having the team members uh, to be able to pull this off? Uh, it, it's incredible. I mean, we've got an awesome cast of people. Um, anybody from every different walk of life comes here, comes together for one reason, and that's just to scare the pants off of people. Um, it, it's a lot of fun. It's really a, a good team, a good family, and a good community that we have here. I love it. And speaking of uh, scaring people's pants off, we've got a treat for you coming up here. The girls are ready. Ready. They're ready. Coming up in our next half hour, we've got the characters here as well. And it's about to get spooky this spooky season here at Screaming Acres. That's coming up around 645. <laughs> You still haven't slept a wing since we visited. Oh, visit. please. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, we got to meet the characters beforehand. So, like, it was scary because we didn't know when they were coming, but, you know. You did a little meet and greet with the characters before you did it? Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, right. had to. Had to, just and make sure that they weren't the real deal. We obviously did this in the middle of the day, so they only had, was it four people? Just, just four of them. But they, you know, the last resort was huge, and they were able to, like, follow us all the way along. I mean, it was insane. It was, it was freaky. Yeah, freaky. It, and if if you know me, like, outside of here, like, I'm really, like... <laughs> I mean, I, I guess I'm pretty animated here, too, but... Uh, Gullible. Yeah. All right, well, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> no, 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 just a little we'll dramatic, see. a little dramatics. That yeah. helps it. It does, it does. All right, 645. <laughs> you got it. Tune in. <laughs> Stay tuned. Thanks, Josh. <laughs> Josh is always looking for inspiration to share with you folks at home. You got an idea for him you want to see in the segment? Reach out and let him know about it. Well, how about this? The Yankees and the Dodgers. Headed to the World Series, this is going to be the 12th time the Yankees and Dodgers franchises square off in the final series here. Uh, the first time since 1981, though, the Yankees are 8-3 all-time in those series. Dodgers have had more practice as this is their fourth trip to the World Series since 2017. World Series starts on Friday. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame inducted 16 stars. It includes Ozzy Osbourne, Cher, Dane Matthews Band, and Mary J. Blige. Organizers say the 2024 class is the most diverse class the Hall of Fame has seen. It is a celebration. And in Madison, the Madison Area Music Association holding an award show to honor the efforts of local musicians. The organization raises funds for music education and supporting the local music scene. Uh, it aims to help foster the next generations of musicians who can often face hurdles in their developing musical careers. 
The group first started doing the awards back in 2019. Very nice. Lots of local talent, and it's just good to see it showcased right here. But still ahead, it's the end of an era for a U.S. department store. Coming up in our next half hour, we'll sit down with the MMSD superintendent and talk about the referendum and what happens if it doesn't pass. And as we head to break, here's a look at gas prices this morning. 619, we'll be right back. Dissecting Madison's budget referendum tonight at 10. Under Kamala, there's been a big hike in Medicare premiums. Social Security benefits don't go far with Kamala's inflation slamming seniors. Now Kamala wants struggling seniors to pay more Social Security taxes while she gives Medicare and Social Security to illegals. That will do Medicare. President Trump will make sure no one cuts Medicare or Social Security. Trump lowered Medicare premiums and he'll end the tax on Social Security. I'm Donald J. Trump and I approve this message. Get an 11% rebate on everything in Menards. Fire Safety Month is here. Protect your family in case of fire and carbon monoxide emergencies. This carbon monoxide alarm is $13.96. After rebate, finish your project with Drydex Color Changing Spacking from DAP. It features a dry time indicator that goes on pink and dries white once it's ready to sand and paint. An 8-ounce container is $2.99. After 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. Our record high energy costs putting a squeeze on your fixed or limited incomes. While you haven't asked for it, the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund and your local energy assistance providers are here to help. No Wisconsin resident should ever have to face the challenge of living without heat or power or face homelessness. For a hand up, apply today. It's our fall into savings sale at Tundra Land. We're offering free installation on the bath or shower of your dreams. Plus, no payments, no money down, and no interest for an entire year. Tundraland.com. Tundraland These Baldwin ads are nasty. I can't stand them. She never tells the truth. Now she says Eric Hovde wants to raise the retirement age. That's malarkey. I saw in the news Social Security will be going bankrupt in eight years. Are you kidding? We need Social Security. You're surprised? Washington spends money like crazy. And Baldwin supports all of it. I'm Eric Covdy, and I approve this message. You better get a job. You get a job. Shop the largest selection of Chevy trucks and SUVs in Wisconsin at Bergstrom Chevrolet. Lease a new Silverado 1500 starting at $355 a month or a 24 Equinox EV starting at $299 a month. Stop in or shop and purchase at BergstromMadison.com. My husband and I were elated to find out that we would be having another baby. But after many tests, my doctors agreed that we had to terminate the pregnancy. It was the worst day of my life. You should know that Eric Hubdi supports laws that stop me and my doctor from making that decision. And that's a ban with no exceptions in cases of rape or incest. It's a ban that could turn doctors into criminals. He opposes abortion, period. When Senate is responsible for the content of this ad. Happy anniversary! Join, Join us for our anniversary sale. sale. And help us celebrate! We're having our biggest sale of the year with savings throughout the showroom. Where you can save big. And you can save big! You can save big! You can save big! On quality home furnishings throughout the showroom. Join us for our anniversary sale. Wanna keep furniture ETC. Bringing quality home since 1996. Six twenty-three on your Monday. This picture is from Gwen. She says another day of perfection. And oh. I would have to agree. Look at those leaves there. Isn't it just gorgeous outside? It's perfect. Oh my gosh. Oh. The leaves, the weather, the, the blue, blue skies, not a cloud in sight. I mean, it doesn't get better than this. I know. I feel like a lot of the trees in our yard, though, are at peak. Like the next yeah, few days, I think this is it. I know. So, so better get in. outside. Yeah, yeah, big time.
All right. Thank you, Gwen. Trending this morning, we are talking about the end of an era as there are no more Kmarts on the U.S. mainland. I grew up on Kmart. Right. <laughs> Me and Savannah were saying how we had never been. Well, there we go. Your That's probably the difference in Kmart, generation. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so the last one located in Bridgehampton, New York, closed for good last night. The chain, known for its blue light specials, started in the late 19th century and later claimed the discount segment of the market. It filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection in 2018. Uh, they've been struggling for a while, but um, uh, yeah, the last one shutting down. It's crazy to think about because, yeah, a lot of us grew up uh, with Kmart's in our our communities. Uh, there were at least two in, in Madison. There was one on Odana, one on East Wash. Uh, but yeah, it had 2,000 stores across the U.S. at one point, and the last one closed its doors. Crazy like how things can change even after a couple of decades, right? Yeah. See, we're from small towns too, and I didn't, I didn't yeah, have one. We didn't have I didn't have that nearby. <laughs> we had <July. laughs> Let's go. Yeah, my hometown wasn't very big. Even, even, even you, we had even one. You yeah. made yeah. it out of there, okay? <laughs> All right. Well, take a look at this. Zombies taking over the streets of Santiago, Chile, yesterday for their annual. A zombie walk. Uh, this began in Sacramento, California in 2001. Since then, the event has spread to major cities around the world. Look at those. Oh, oh thanks. What a sight to see. I wonder if there are folks that actually will travel to the yeah. every single year. If that's you their know, thing. That's their yeah, tradition. Like, we're doing we're doing zombie 24 in, yeah. in Moscow. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do know. it. I don't know if this is something I'd participate no. in. Yeah. No. But hey, some people really get into the season, oh, though. Oh, totally. And you guys found this out. Yeah. You know, you, know, you did Screaming Acres, and those yeah. people, I mean, Josh, I mean, how many people have you talked to at these 100 ounces that are just like, oh, they're all in. This is all their in. thing. This is like their, like their hobby. They yeah. look forward to this every single year. Like some of us, m m me, uh, obsessed with Christmas. <laughs> Like Halloween is their everything, yeah. right? So it's pretty cool to see that. Yes. And the creativity, right? Absolutely. But October, we're almost three, four weeks in. November starting pretty soon. What is our normal high in Madison on today's date? October normal 21st? high. Yeah. Okay. Average. I'm gonna say B, 57, right, 57. degrees. Uh, What's the other choice? I can't say. 55, 53. I'm gonna say 55. Okay. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with A. I'm gonna go with 60. And 57. Gosh, there you go. Seven. Yeah. I was watching Blaze this weekend, that's why I knew. Okay. <laughs> We're back after this. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Sarah Kieski, she supports lifting revenue limits, allowing property tax rates to skyrocket unchecked. Kieski's backers want to ban natural gas to heat our homes, driving utility bills through the roof. That's Kieski's record, expensive and extreme. The kindness, the efficiency, the respect was amazing. From start to finish, they will take care of you. Everybody is just so kind and everybody's so cheerful. I just never worked with a company where everybody seems to get along and they're all happy to be working for Cardinal. Cardinal is the place to go for any type of work that you need done around your home. I never hesitate with family, friends, neighbors to recommend Cardinal, and nobody has come back to me and said I was wrong. At Spectrum, we believe every day unlocks a new door to unlimited possibilities. Possibilities to bring you closer to the people and the places you love. Spectrum transforms your gaming experience into a galaxy of adventures with the fastest and most reliable internet. Connect to unlimited possibilities when you switch to Spectrum Internet Premier for only $30 per month when bundled and save with our three-year price guarantee and no contracts. Call 1-844-653-6824. With the fastest, most reliable internet, you're always front row to the entertainment you love, no matter where you are. And with advanced Wi-Fi to keep you safe and secure online, you can focus on what matters the most. Spectrum Internet doesn't just power your home. It puts streaming, live TV, sports, and popular apps all at your fingertips. Get incredible savings when you switch to Spectrum Internet Premier for just $30 a month with a three-year price guarantee. That's our promise to you. Call 1-844-653-6824. Have you heard Eric Humpty? I am 
totally opposed to abortion. I am totally opposed to politicians telling women what we can do. Extremists all over the country have passed abortion bans. Criminal penalties for doctors. No exceptions for rape or incest. Women are dying just trying to get health care. There are even restrictions in Wisconsin. This has to stop. I am totally opposed to abortion. We are totally opposed to Eric Humpty. I'm Tammy Baldwin, and I approve this message. Under Kamala, there's been a big hike in Medicare premiums. Social Security benefits don't go far with Kamala's inflation slamming seniors. Now Kamala wants struggling seniors to pay more Social Security taxes, while she gives Medicare and Social Security to illegals. That will do Medicare. President Trump will make sure no one cuts Medicare or Social Security. Trump lowered Medicare premiums, and he'll end the tax on Social Security. I'm Donald J. Trump, and I approve this message. Sarah Kieski, she supports lifting revenue limits, allowing property tax rates to skyrocket unchecked. Kieski's backers want to ban natural gas to heat our homes, driving utility bills through the roof. That's Kieski's record, expensive and extreme. Happening this morning, a car underwater in the Yahara River. We have the latest from Monona. And the cast of the West Wing campaigns in Madison, the local connection that one star has. Plus, hear from the Madison School Superintendent on the district's referendums, the case he's making to voters. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to News 3 Now this morning. I'm Chris Stanford. And I'm Kyrie Ann Lee. We are following some breaking news this morning in Monona, where police are investigating a death after they found a car upside down in the Yahara River. Take a look at this video from Monona. Overnight, police detectives at the scene tell us that an officer saw the vehicle just after 1 a.m. The detective says speed may have been involved here. Uh, and the identity of the driver will be released later this morning. This happened near West Broadway Bridge. Uh, these are scenes overnight as crews are trying to pull the driver and the car out of the water. We're working to confirm some more information and we'll share those with you uh, during our news breaks and on channel3000.com. Well, let's switch gears here and check in now with meteorologist Savannah Brito, who's out on the patio this morning. It should feel pretty good out there. Yeah, it's not. We're not off to a bad start by any means. Most of us were hanging on to the 60s, at least Madison and northward. Now we do have temperatures dropping, but still that 57, very mild for this time of year. Wanakee's at 59, Edgerton at 53. So we have a little bit of a contrast across Dane County and southern Wisconsin. A few 40s, Boscobel, Prairie du Chien, Lone Rock, all sitting in those mid to even upper 40s, but some of us still at 60 like Camp Douglas. That's actually one of the cooler. Usually it's one of the cooler spots. It's one of the warmer spots this morning, 62. It's not that bad as far as winds go right now. These speeds and gusts are going to pick up through the day, though. We're looking at about 15 to 20 miles per hour by Monday afternoon, and it'll stay pretty breezy through the next 48 hours. Right now, wind speeds only at three miles per hour in Madison. How about rainfall, though? Yesterday and really the last several days, this was almost non-existent. Now, as we inch closer to the next few days, could start to see some rain finally return to the forecast. It's much needed. We'll show the updated drought monitor that came out last Thursday, and I'll have which day that sticks out the most out of the next seven days. That's all coming up a little later. All right, Savannah, thank you. Two or three for the people coverage now. Vice President Kamala Harris will be back in the Badger State today. She'll campaign in Waukesha alongside former Congresswoman Liz Cheney. The pair are scheduled to tour multiple swing states together. These campaign visits are expected to be moderated conversations about Harris's agenda. Harris and Cheney have campaigned together in Wisconsin before. They spoke at Ripon College earlier this month. That's when Cheney, a Republican, announced she would endorse the Democratic nominee. Campaigns in their surrogates continue to zero in on Wisconsin. That includes Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren. She campaigned in Eau Claire yesterday. Uh, the senator had been to Wisconsin already this election whenever she was in Ozaukee County in late August. Yesterday in western Wisconsin, she encouraged people to vote early. Warren is also running for re-election. Uh, polls have her comfortably in the lead, though. Former President Donald Trump continues to focus on Pennsylvania. His campaign is scheduled to tour the state by bus this week. Several surrogates will speak to voters throughout the state all week. West Virginia Governor Jim Justice will take part in the event tonight. That's one of four stops in the bus tour just today. Trump himself will rally supporters in North Carolina on Tuesday. Trump continues to outperform Harris among voters who say the economy is a major factor in their vote. In an attempt to connect with voters, Trump here visiting a McDonald's in Bucks County, Pennsylvania yesterday. The restaurant itself closed 
to the public for Trump's visit. However, he did serve some people on the drive through lane. While there, former President Trump claimed that Vice President Kamala Harris lied about having worked at McDonald's. He cited a supposed statement from the chain's corporate headquarters. McDonald's has made no such statement. Both campaigns are turning to celebrities to reach voters. That includes right here in Wisconsin. The cast of the West Wing campaigned in Madison over the weekend for Vice President Harris. And there is a local connection. Bradley Whitford, who plays the White House Deputy Chief of Staff in the show, is from Madison. He graduated from East High School in 1977. He says he knows what voters in Wisconsin are going through. I understand the cynicism about politics. Believe me. Uh, uh, I'm not acting uh, uh, when I say that. But if you don't participate, yes. you sentence yourself to a gulag dictated by those who do choose to participate. The cast visited a campaign office before speaking at the Barrymore Theater. State Republican Party weighing in on the West Wing's visit. Uh, Chair Brian Shimmy releasing a statement saying in part, Perhaps the cast can finally share their secret plan to fight inflation, since Kamala Harris does not have one. That's a uh, reference to a uh, scene in the first season of The West Wing. Harris does have an inflation plan, by the way. It's part of her 82-page economic agenda on the campaign's website. Madison School Superintendent Dr. Joe Gothard is just a few months into the job, and he already is facing several challenges. The referendums on the ballot this November present multiple possible scenarios for what could happen next. If the referendums pass, the average homeowner could pay about $1,000 more a year in taxes. If they fail, the district will have to make some difficult decisions on cuts. Gothard joined us on For the Record to make his case. 81% of our costs are the salary and benefits of the people that this community entrusts with serving our children. Um, it's a staggering number when you, when you think about you know, that in terms of the investment we make in a workforce. And the Madison community has supported you know, our, our public school children for over 100 years in, in Madison. So it's a rich tradition, and I know that this community cares about its children. He says he expects a significant staffing reduction if the operational referendum does not pass. And new this morning, the Fitchburg Lions Club is celebrating their 40th anniversary. To celebrate, the Lions Club and the city are partnering with a recycling company to give back to the community. Our Michelle Renee Quinn here is here to show us how. Hey, Michelle Renee. Good morning, you guys. And that's right. It's the Lions Club, the city of Fitchburg, and they're partnering with the Fitchburg Pick and Save and Trex. That's a recycling company that they're currently using to complete a year-long Next Trek challenge. So in Fitchburg, shrink plastics like these are unable to be recycled in our blue bins. We've got Ziploc bags here, bubble wrap, all sorts of things, even the Amazon bags that you see. But from now until July 1st, the Lions Club asks community members to get involved and bring in your plastics. The Lions Club motto is to serve. President Sean Paff knows firsthand. If we're able to recycle a thousand pounds of plastic that is not always the easiest to recycle, we will get a wonderful park bench made of that recycled material. We're going to dedicate it hopefully to the city of Fitchburg in honor of our 40th anniversary. We get to recycle some really hard to recycle plastics through this uh, challenge and program. And when we say hard to recycle plastics, we don't mean milk jugs, we mean Ziploc bags and other film-like plastics. Bread bags, Grocery bags, the plastic grocery bags that everybody uses um, can be recycled. Salt bags, Amazon Prime bubble bags, plastic film, the, the wrap that goes around various materials that you purchase at the store. You can bring these plastics to the Fitchburg Pick and Save, Fitchburg City Hall, or Community Center. This is a great uh, challenge for the city of Fitchburg to partner with the Lions Club. We love doing all kinds of great partnerships, getting our community involved, letting our community know where they can uh, recycle these types of materials because normally you end up having to throw them out in your garbage and this way they're not going to end up in the landfill. A Trex representative says the next Trex challenge is a great way to help the environment. Uh, this is an important program is because of the just the amount of plastic waste that gets you know out in the environment in waterways and in, in landfills uh, and part of this program is is a way to divert that from landfills and, and turn it into something that's long lasting, sustainable and, and friendly on the environment and also beautiful products that can be enjoyed by people uh, for many years.
So this challenge is going to last until July 1st, 2025. All right, so plenty of time to get in those plastics. Yeah, you'd be surprised how much you find around your house. I mean, besides Ziploc bags, a lot of the stuff that we have wrapped, like if you buy water bottles, the wrap that that comes in, mm -hmm. there's a lot of stuff. There you go. All right. Thanks for letting us know all about it. Absolutely. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> 638, let's get to the Packers. Three straight wins for the green and gold. They beat the Houston Texans yesterday at Lambeau. Boy, this one came right down to the wire, didn't it? Pack had the ball with a minute and change left. Any score wins it. Jordan Love, clutch completion there to Romeo Dobbs. Uh, just a couple of great weeks he's had. And then, who's this guy? Brandon McManus. He's the brand new kicker, and he drills it from 45 yards out as time expires. That's a big win for the green and gold. They win 24 to 22. It's a team win, you know, it's a four quarter battle. Um, you know, it wasn't perfect. Definitely was not perfect, a lot of mistakes, um, but you know, we found a way to win and that's what it's all about. You know, that's what it comes down to is uh, the fourth quarter and finding a way and that's what we did. Boy, those dramatic finishes are tough on the old ticker, I tell you what. <laughs> the Packers are now 5-2 and two on the season. They go to Jacksonville next week. Uh, Jaguars are returning from a couple straight in London. Well, in basketball, the New York Liberty are the champions of the WNBA, and if the close to finish with the Packers wasn't hard on the old ticker, then this one <laughs> is. Last night, this game, five of the best of five series, so it's winner take all at the Barclays Center. The New York Liberty and Minnesota Lynx were tied at 58 with just over a minute left. Kayla McBride found Nafisa Collier on the outside. She drove in and laid it up to put the Lynx on top. It stayed that way until the final seconds as Brianna Stewart is fouled on the shot in the paint. Huge call there. Stewart goes to the line and makes both free throws. And the final decider goes to overtime. New York went up three early in overtime before Nayara Sabali steals it on the edge and lays it in herself. It's a five-point game, and that's how it ends. It's the first ever championship for the New York Liberty. After a season full of record viewership and attendance, and Caitlin Clark bursting into the scene, all fitting to have a final series as memorable as this one right here. Boy. So, yeah. So, congratulations to those ladies. Women's basketball definitely got a big look this year, especially with those rookies in place. Yeah. It, uh, I've never seen a WNBA season like this one before. It's certainly been something. Yeah. yeah. I was going to say, look at the crowd. That was awesome. Yeah. And Very th impressive. There was even quite a crowd yesterday at the red and white men's basketball say. scrimmage. So yeah. that was good to see. So I'm the excited. The basketball season. Yeah. How are we already there? I know. It doesn't really feel like it because it's just no. uh, been so warm out there. I know. And that pattern actually looks like it's going to continue. We'll have an update on what we could see leading up to Halloween coming up. But first, the news three now this morning team checks out Screaming Acres in Stoughton. Can we make it out of the haunted house alive? Stick around to find out in the 608. Under Kamala, there's been a big hike in Medicare premiums. Social Security benefits don't go far with Kamala's inflation slamming seniors. Now Kamala wants struggling seniors to pay more Social Security taxes while she gives Medicare and Social Security to illegals. That will do Medicare. President Trump will make sure no one cuts Medicare or Social Security. Trump lowered Medicare premiums and he'll end the tax on Social Security. I'm Donald J. Trump and I approve this message. You have a clear choice in this election. Senator Baldwin is a 38-year career politician. I'm a businessman and job creator. She supports taxpayer benefits for illegal immigrants. I'll close the border. Tammy wants to put guys and girls sports and in their bathrooms. I'll protect our daughters. Senator Baldwin abuses the political system. I'll fight the corruption. I'm Eric Hovde and I prove this message. I'd be honored to have your vote. For 52 years, they've been trying to get Roe v. Wade into the states. I did a great service in doing it. You want to talk about this is what people wanted? Pregnant women suffering from a miscarriage, being denied care in an emergency room because the health care providers are afraid they might go to jail, and she's bleeding out in a car in the parking lot? The freedom to make decisions about one's own body should not be made by the government. FFPAC is responsible for the content of this ad. My name is Jack Frank. I'm a retired paper mill worker in the valley here, and I work for Copas and Bus part-time on the side. I've had my own route now here for the last three, four years, 
and the kids on it are great. Flexible hours, they work with you in many different ways. If you've got something going, they, they, they accommodate you or they try to get somebody to run your roller. Colson treats you decent, you know, all the years I worked here. It's a great place to work. Have you heard Eric Humphrey? I am totally opposed to abortion. I am totally opposed to politicians telling women what we can do. Extremists all over the country have passed abortion bans. Criminal penalties for doctors. No exceptions for rape or incest. Women are dying just trying to get health care. There are even restrictions in Wisconsin. This has to stop. I am totally opposed to abortion. We are, are totally, totally opposed, opposed to Eric Humphrey. Humphrey. I'm Tammy Baldwin, and I approve this message. Under Kamala, there's been a big hike in Medicare premiums. Social Security benefits don't go far with Kamala's inflation slamming seniors. Now Kamala wants struggling seniors to pay more Social Security taxes while she gives Medicare and Social Security to illegals. That will do Medicare. President Trump will make sure no one cuts Medicare or Social Security. Trump lowered Medicare premiums and he'll end the tax on Social Security. I'm Donald J. Trump and I approve this message. News 3 Now This Morning, moving forward. It's the moment we've been waiting for in the 608 this morning. That's right, Josh Ryder is here now. More about our visit to Screaming Acres in Stoughton. Good morning. Good morning. So Screaming Acres is celebrating their 13th season this year, and they invited the News 3 Now This Morning team to check it out for their popular last resort attraction. Can we make it out alive? Take a look for yourself. All right, you guys ready? <laughs> I don't know which way to go. What are you talking about? Why are you walking so fast? Ooh, there's bugs. this morning obviously i just withered away a little bit <laughs> i think you little. take you take you the were cake defeated. out of all that that was that was good that was way more fun to watch than to actually be there in person. <laughs> yeah, if you 
Oh, that was like he would have been able time. to handle this. Yeah. We're not dramatic at all, as you can tell. So. Not at all. No, no. I don't know her that was a lot of fun, though. Yeah, it was. Shout out to them for having us down. They had only four characters in that entire building, and they kept scaring yeah. us. I mean, it took us, what, 15, 20 minutes <laughs> to actually go through it? It was yeah. a while. It wasn't like it was a quick haunted no. house, so they really go all out. Again, season 13, you can check them out for yourself. Two more weeks until Halloween, if you can believe Boy. it, so still plenty of time. Wow. All right. And shout out to photojournalist Mark Schilling. <laughs> well he did his thing. Yeah. Well yes. Yes. The GoPro walking through the camera. Well done. And he wasn't too spooked, as you can tell. No. So. Yeah. Keep this cool. All right. Josh is always looking for inspiration to share with you folks at home. If you have an idea for In the 608, and a lot of your ideas end up on TV, you reach out to Josh and let him know about it. Let's check in now with meteorologist Savannah Brito, who's here now with your first warm weather. Temperatures looking real great for the end of October. Oh, yeah. In fact, temperatures are actually going to make a run for the 80 degree mark again this afternoon. There were areas that topped out in the lower 80s yesterday, and that is near record warmth. Our forecast high today in Madison 79 and our record 84. I don't think we're going to break that, but temperatures will be about five degrees from that. That's thanks to our southerly wind. Those speeds, though, by the way, those are going to increase. We're looking at 15 to 20 mile per hour wind gusts as we had for later this afternoon. Mostly clear right now, but we are going to pick up some clouds. Those are going to increase further overnight, but that's actually going to allow temperatures to only fall to near 50 degrees. Most of us hanging on to those lower 50s overnight. And then finally some rain. I don't think we have a good chance. Spotty isolated showers at best. In fact, most of that going to be confined down towards that Illinois Wisconsin border and even south of that the better chance tomorrow afternoon across northern Illinois our winds then after a cold front that's going to transition them back out of the northwest and that will drop our temperatures we're actually going to see things fall to seasonal or near normal more fall like by that mid to late week time frame this is the updated drought monitor it came out last Thursday areas south of mineral point stretching as far west back as Platteville and then all the way east to Beloit Wisconsin the those areas were upgraded to a severe drought. Most of that tan color, that's the moderate drought, that actually expanded now across most of Dane County. Everyone else across not only southern Wisconsin, but the state of Wisconsin, at least abnormally dry. So we need the rain. I don't think we have a decent chance of getting that. Aside of those spotty showers tomorrow, the next several days dry after that. But our best chance of rain, I think, coming over the weekend on Sunday, that's as temperatures fall back. That Wednesday to Sunday time frame will be back to the lower 60s, maybe a mid-60 in there. Friday, but then beyond that, that takes us all the way up to almost Halloween, and we're looking at the 70s again. So no snow, above average temperatures. The kids will actually be able to show off their costumes this year. You won't have to hide under the coats. No, maybe a jacket, but that at best. Yeah, all right. I was, that, I'm, I'm thankful <laughs> for that. I am thankful. All right, well, coming up in the morning, Brand how to recover more quickly from surgery. If you got a little kiddo turning three soon, send us a picture. We'll show it on TV. Sponsored by Three Bears Resort, Indoor Water Park and Conference Center in Warrens, Wisconsin. Sarah Kieski, she supports lifting revenue limits, allowing property tax rates to skyrocket unchecked. Kieski's backers want to ban natural gas to heat our homes, driving utility bills through the roof. That's Kieski's record, expensive and extreme. Under Kamala, there's been a big hike in Medicare premiums. Social Security benefits don't go far with Kamala's inflation slamming seniors. Now Kamala wants struggling seniors to pay more Social Security taxes, while she gives Medicare and Social Security security to illegals. That will do Medicare. President Trump will make sure no one cuts Medicare or Social Security. Trump lowered Medicare premiums and he'll end the tax on Social Security. I'm Donald J. Trump and I approve this message. Career politicians like Peter Barca will say anything to get elected. His latest negative ad against Brian Stile has been called blatantly false. The truth, Stile has always supported IVF. He co-sponsored a resolution supporting IVF and style backs legislation to help families afford IVF. Peter Barca can sling mud, but we deserve better than just another lying career politician. I'm Brian Style and I approve this message. You have a clear choice in this election. 
Senator Baldwin is a 38-year career politician. I'm a businessman and job creator. She supports taxpayer benefits for illegal immigrants. I'll close the border. Tammy wants to put guys and girls sports and in their bathrooms. I'll protect our daughters. Senator Baldwin abuses the political system. I'll fight the corruption. I'm Eric Hovde and I prove this message. I'd be honored to have your vote. A lot of money, I know. Uh, <laughs> what are you doing? You're rich as hell. <laughs> We're gonna give you tax cuts. We're gonna pay you. I am not rich as hell. I work hard. I scrape to get by. Donald Trump wants to give tax breaks to billionaires, but Kamala Harris has plans to help us. She's going to crack down on price gouging and cut taxes for working people like me. I voted for Donald Trump before, but this time I'm voting for Kamala. FFPAC is responsible for the content of this ad. I'm Kamala Harris, and I approve this message. Donald Trump makes a lot of promises, but we can be sure of one thing. If he wins, he'll ignore all checks that rein in a president's power. It's all in Trump's Project 2025 agenda. What does that mean for you? Higher cost on groceries, cuts to Social Security and Medicare, more tax breaks for billionaires, and a national abortion ban putting women's health at risk. A second Trump term, more unhinged, unstable, and unchecked. Sarah Kieski, she supports lifting revenue new limits, allowing property tax rates to skyrocket unchecked. Kieski's backers want to ban natural gas to heat our homes, driving utility bills through the roof. That's Kieski's record, expensive and extreme. Say hello to TDS. It's 6.54, time for the morning sprint. To our breaking news this morning in Monona, police are investigating a death after finding a car upside down in the Yarhar River. It happened near the West Broadway Bridge. You're taking a look at some images from overnight as crews were trying to pull the driver and the car out of the water. The detective on the scene told us that speed may have been involved in the crash that led to that vehicle winding up in the river. We'll share with you any updates on air here during our news breaks at channel3000.com. Vice President Kamala Harris will be back in the Badger State today. She'll campaign in Waukesha alongside former Congresswoman Liz Cheney. The pair are scheduled to tour multiple swing states together. These campaign visits are expected to be moderated conversation about Harris's agenda. Harris and Cheney have campaigned together in Wisconsin before. They spoke at Ripon College earlier this month. Former President Donald Trump continues to focus on Pennsylvania. His campaign is scheduled to tour the state by bus this week. Trump will rally supporters in North Carolina tomorrow. Running mate J.D. Vance visited Waukesha on Sunday. He also stopped at a sports bar in Green Bay ahead of the Packers game against the Texans. A Madison man is in custody after driving recklessly in Fitchburg. Police say a Fitchburg officer saw a vehicle drive recklessly at Fish Hatchery Road and Greenway Cross. They say the driver ran multiple red lights and drove into oncoming traffic. Police say the driver went into Madison and crashed into two vehicles. Officers arrested the suspect at that location. Music could help you recover from surgery more quickly. A study by California North State University looked at patients who listened to music after surgery and found that they experienced less pain, had reduced anxiety, and were less likely to use opioids. Doctors say any type of music the patient enjoys provides a benefit. Tomorrow, 70. Wednesday, cooler air settles in. Enjoy the 70s while we have them. I know I will be. Me too. Savannah, thank you. We're back in 30 minutes with an update.